the housing network of Rhode Island is the State Association of Nonprofit Community Development Corporations. Our members have developed and built thousands of units of affordable housing throughout the state and initiated numerous revitalization efforts in neighborhoods across Rhode Island. These awards acknowledge the people and organizations making strides to ensure that everyone in Rhode Island has a safe, healthy, and affordable home. Well, home is uh, the center of all things, really. It's where you get your sense of security, your, your sense of connection to other people. It's, uh, in a very practical way, the, the center of all your activities. Uh, and it takes on something more than just an economic value, although it has important economic value. You can't have a job really without having a, a good home. You can't go to school unless you've got a home to, to, to use it as your base of studies. Uh, but then it takes on something more. It takes on the, the real values of your community and your family. Uh, that's where you pull together. That's where you sacrifice for each other. That's where you do the things that are just make life worth living. So home is, in some respects, everything. For me, home means family. It means celebrating. It means great dinners with my wife and daughter, my sisters and brothers. Um, it's a place of security and comfort and um, place where I get to experiment with my best dishes. Um, I'm Joe Golick. I'm the executive director at NeighborWorks Blackstone River Valley. We work in Northern Rhode Island, and I'm also the president of the Housing Network of Rhode Island Board of Directors. We're honored today to present Senator Jack Reed with the Francis H. Smith Award, um, one of our highest honors at the Housing Network of Rhode Island. Senator Reed has been a longtime supporter and advocate for affordable housing legislation. He was the prime author of the Housing Trust Fund. Um, he's also um, the ranking member of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development. He has delivered millions of dollars in lead paint abatement funding to Rhode Island. Um, he's also um, secured housing and case management funding for Rhode Islanders experiencing domestic violence. And recently he's been a prime mover in includes, including more housing assistance in the CARES Act to prevent homelessness and foreclosure. I'm Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island. Recognize uh, Melina Lodge and all the great work she does, the Housing Network of Rhode Island. Tremendous group of people dedicated to making home a reality for so many people. I'm deeply honored to be awarded the Francis H. Smith Award. Uh, it is a very symbolic, very important. I treasure it and I thank uh, all of the kind people who made it possible. Thank you so much. And re let me recognize the other award winners, Carol Ventura, Amy Raynone, Annette Bourne, Nate Kelly, and uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Rhode Island. And we are in the midst of a great debate that it touches directly upon uh, housing. We have to, because of the COVID uh, pandemic, we have to once again stand up and help the American people through this great crisis, an economic crisis, a social crisis, a, a medical crisis. And one of the places we have to pay attention to is housing. If the federal government does not provide sufficient resources directly and through the states to avoid evictions, to avoid foreclosures, we're literally going to have in Rhode Island thousands of people on the streets without a home. I saw this back in 2008 and 2009 when the, the f housing collapsed. And we worked very hard. We put something together, which I led the efforts, called the Hardest Hit Fund. 
and we gave resources to states so they could help people pay mortgages, help people pay rents. We've got to do the same thing now, only on a much larger stick scale. So I'm working awfully hard to make sure we have the resources in this next COVID bill so that we can provide real support to people so they can literally stay in their homes and to help the work of all the Rhode Island housing advocates who I treasure and thank very much. So we have a lot of work to do and I'm gonna get back to work. So thanks very much for this great honor. I'm deeply, deeply honored. For more information about the Housing Network and to learn more about community development happening in Rhode Island, visit housingnetworkri.org.